Okay, so now um, anyway, there is a article on Git best practices there. So maybe you uh, take a quick read uh, later. Uh, this is basically our uh, best practices for Git. Okay, one of them is the conventional commits. It's um, yeah, they're just like a checklist on the good things. Uh, when working with Git. So uh, now we will go to the React app. So please show me your uh, React app that you have developed. Oh, sorry. I, I think. I will change the name okay. of the app. I think if you change it, uh, let's change it to ID. Uh, uh, use this one, ID card PWA. Okay, use that one. Uh, do I need to run Strapi? Mm, at this time, not yet. Okay, just uh, checking if uh, this works. Uh, you need to run th uh, that. Okay. You can also use the terminal in Visual Studio Code if you prefer. But, oh, yeah. Uh, anything will do, okay? Just you, basically you need the terminal. So it's up to your preference, yeah, up to your preference. Uh, hey, oh, I've gone to different. I've gone to different directory, I'm sorry. Uh, sir, I want to ask you. Okay. Uh, for this git dot git ignore file, mm -hmm. uh, is it automatically generated if, uh, for example, I have a uh, a framework that needs no JS as requirement? Yes, it is automatically generated when I install like React Native CLI and etc. Yes, uh, if you use a framework, usually the framework will uh, create it for you. For example, Strapi, uh, there is a default dot .git ignore file, but uh, if you don't use a framework, then you will need to create the dot .git ignore file yourself. But even if the framework generates that for you, usually mm -hmm. you will need to uh, add uh, something else, okay? Because for example, the framework does not know if you are using Windows or Linux or Mac OS. The framework does not know what editor 
the DUs, right? Maybe you are yeah. using like Visual Studio Code or something. So it's still a good idea to use that generator, uh, uh, kitignore.io that I described there. And so you can here. add uh, more, yeah, uh, more list of files to ignore. Uh, for example, why I put Linux, Mac OS, and Windows as standard there, because mm -hmm. uh, when we are working in a project, uh, this project should be uh, runnable whether the developer uses Windows or Linux or Mac OS, right? So just put all of the git ignore for these operating systems. And also usually we use Visual Studio Code, so uh, put the key technology there and so on. And then you add that, maybe you like uh, put that on the bottom of the existing key technology. So you have a more complete key technology file. So it's a cool. Uh, it's a safer uh, approach. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay. What happened? Very random. <laughs> Oh, I tried to display a carousel. <laughs> okay. So this is the home, right? Okay, so any questions about uh, this one first? About, about Ant Mobile. Um, you are using TypeScript, right? Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, yes, I do. Because previously in the inventory management, you are using JavaScript, not TypeScript. JavaScript. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So I think this is good. You know how to create a home page and uh, Still compiling. Yeah, the project works. Uh, it's showing something, which is very nice. Okay. So that's good. All right. Okay. And it's it's working. There is no error. So that's really good, yeah. It's really good. Okay, so any question from you first? Uh so I'm confused about the UI. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which which um, part is confusing? Yeah, I I just got no uh, inspiration mm -hmm. because uh, like uh, to be honest, I I thought that I have to stick to and and design or and design for mobile mm -hmm. so that I I cannot explore. Freely, I know mm -hmm. Ant Mobile. Uh, I mean, Ant Design gives users, uh, I mean, more easier way, easier way to create uh, many, many uh, components, such mm -hmm. as yeah, table, uh, register page, login page, and etc. But mm -hmm. I think. Um, it is um yeah i have to explore uh more i think i have to think more freely so mm -hmm. that i can uh, think about better design and for example when i when i know that oh i have to put login columns for example like mm -hmm. username mm -hmm. and a password column here mm -hmm. then i may then i may use uh you know template or mm -hmm. yeah, I can import from Ant Design, mm -hmm. just like that. So it's all my fault that I still ha only have this one home okay. without anything. So that's uh, good. But mm -hmm. uh, I created slash dashboard. Oh. Table. Okay, that's nice. This one. 
Okay. Okay, so this one is using uh, N design, right? Right. Not, yes, not the mobile one. Okay. Okay. I would say that's good. Okay, so don't worry. Uh, this is where, where I come in and later on. Uh, okay, I will answer about experimentation. So you are free to experiment, but not on this project, okay? So for example, you can create okay, so another project and you can uh, explore freely testing and so on. Uh, of course, you can also test in this project, like create a new other page and so on. Uh, but the main pages, uh, my request is to use and design mobile and I will show you how. Uh, so we'll see if, if that works or not because um, I think in this case for this project, uh, it should be enough, okay? I think for the, the first example is to log in, right? To log in and then using GraphQL, you can do login and then get the JWT token. Okay. All right. Okay. So I would say that first let's uh, let's Stop update sharing. the git ignore file. Okay. So make a git ignore file there before the git ignore file. Okay. This is like the default one. So go to git ignore.io to add more based on the git best practices and after that we will push that to git this one uh no, git git ignore. Okay, yeah, but uh, please add the the ones uh, like in the git best practices. Can you see that? Git best practices. Okay, for React web. Okay, so there are Linux, Mac OS, Windows, and so on. Oh, you will, you will not be able to copy paste it. You have like to do it one by one. Okay. Okay. Copy them, and then put it. Can I overwrite? No. Uh, you you should add uh, below that. Okay. It doesn't matter if there are some duplicates, uh, as long as you don't have to delete it. Don't delete it. Don't delete the comments. Just leave them there. So because they act as a documentation. Okay, so that's good. And then I'll create a project for you. Okay, before uh, I create the project, please open the GitLab project for ID card repo, the strappy one. And then change the logo for the project. Oh, you, you mean this one? Mm. Uh, no, no. Uh, I mean the GitLab project itself. Okay, the GitLab project itself. To go to the GitLab project for uh, ID card repo. You can go to the sidebar and settings, and there will be a way to change that. Uh, this one. Yep, settings, general. Then avatar, uh, I think you have, you'll have to find the logo for, I think for end design. I think you can use the logo for end design for that. Um. You can also I mean, check the images. Hmm? Uh, how, how may I download like uh, you can go to image file from 
and design. Yeah, uh, go to images. Don't don't open the website. Just click on images on Google. Okay. Now try to find one that looks like a logo, and then you can right click and download. Maybe maybe search for and design logo. So you have more options. Okay, choose one. Okay, it's good. And right click and save. Oh, I think it's wrong. The ID card repo is for Stripey, right? So you, you need to uh, find the Stripey logo. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. But that one will oh, be used for the PWA project. Stripey. Yeah. I think it should be like the, the purple one. This one is cool. Okay, or that's the that's the old logo actually. The new <laughs> logo is just like yeah, just this like one. that. Don't know why they change it, but well, they did change the logo. I think I will use this one. May I? Okay. Strappy. Okay, that's Whoa. nice. And now I will add you to the ID card PWA project. Okay. And I'll go to Lofia menu. Okay. Okay, first change the avatar press first with the project logo to make it you know look nicer you should also change your user profile photo eh? oh I, I, yeah later I forgot <laughs> to. yeah later you don't have to use a real photo you can use any like avatar or anything cool that you like uh i think the pwa should use the App design, right? Yeah, the app design one, because it's the, the client. Okay, so now please import the project to the repository as before. Yep, it's my one. Don't forget to put the build in front. Oh. So we are using conventional commits. Build. Uh, do you have a, sp a message here? Yeah, that's 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 nice. React web. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? It's okay. 
The important one is the conventional commits, yeah. Oh yeah, uh, one tip I think you should uh, try to find out how to uh, save the username and password uh, for Git so that you don't have to like enter your password over and over again. Okay, there is a way, okay, there is a way. Mm -hmm. Okay, but for now that's okay. <clears throat> so there is a way to make that uh, easier. Yeah? Okay. So now let's go to um, this one. Okay, let's. Oh, I will give that to the chat one. Uh, should this be okay? The home, the home is alright. So try to copy the code there. Uh, and, and try to use that on your page, the, the basic one, okay? The basic one. Or I think the, the error one, yeah? I think the error one is good, I guess. Yeah, use, use the error one. Use the, the example from error. Error one? Yeah, the, the from what I give you on chat. Yeah, because the error has a verification. Yeah. Oh. But RC form is also nice, actually. It's a control. Maybe not this one. This one, I think, too long. Oh, but this one is not using uh, React new functions here. Yeah, but it's okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, I don't think this is a this is a, a good example. Um let's try using the uh, the, the standard one. Okay, I will. Um, I will ask to control your computer. How do I ask to control? Can I do this? Request remote control. Hmm. Do you have a button to like allow remote control there? Oh, here. Okay. It is. Okay. So let's use this one instead. So the, the new one to use React mm -hmm. is just to use a function. Oh, functional. Yeah. And because we will be using hooks, it's like generally the, the better uh, practice now. Okay, and I would say for this one. Okay, we'll check this one. Okay, and I think we need a wingspan first. So 
That means, what is this? So we we'll have a wingspan. Do they give a auto complete there? No suggestions, that's weird. Okay. I would expect they give a See how they did it. Surely this should be. Why no suggestions? That's weird. But uh, did you already add that? I think I did. Hmm, or okay. uh, should I reinstall? Uh, okay. I mean, no, no problem. Just uh, let check this. Oh, wing blank, not the wingspan. Wiring span. Hmm. Okay, can you fix that for me? Should okay, wing sir. Blank. Oh, wing blank? Wing blank. Yep. Okay, and then. We will use a item. Okay. And then after a list, there will be an input item. Let's check how they do it. That's so long. Okay, and it would say a placeholder. Oops, what's that? Okay, and then we should have this. All right, make another one for password and then try it. Okay, let's see if this one works. Oh, uh, you need to add export there under function. Oh, yeah. Or you can put export default home there. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Okay, now I'll try it again. Is it working now? This one I'm I'm solving okay. the MD. Okay, I think you need to edit first. Mm, thing not below, just go down. Just this simple one. I think you can just like yarn add anti mobile or something. <laughs> Try to just use a yarn yarn add anti mobile. I think that should work.
Okay, by the way, can you delete the package log JSON file because that's used by NPM? So it's better to delete that so that uh, there is no confusion about whether to use NPM or YARN. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Uh, in ID card verification, right, right click on that on the Stripey project. Right click on that and then find in folder. Okay. Okay. So you can type ID. Uh, no, the, the old name ID dash card dash repository. This one. No, not that one. I mean, type it. ID dash card dash repository. Dash repository. Because that's that's the old name, right? So you need to find uh, all the old names. Okay. So I think uh, which ones? Mm, about. All right. Okay. Uh, what are these? Uh, can you like? Uh, expand the sidebar a bit. Okay. Okay, I see. Hmm. So the schema uh, seems to use the old ones. Right. I think uh, yeah I think so okay maybe because of this roads I think because uh and it seems that there are a lot of things there. So, okay. Okay. I would say uh, a better idea to rename it is to create a new collection type and then copy the attributes from the uh, previous one. Okay, now okay. start start Stripey uh, using develop. Yeah, start Stripey using develop. this uh, can you open the file from uh, API folder in the Stripey project I will show you the reason okay 
the Stripe project, API, ID card repository, and then models. Okay, and that that one, uh, the, the other one, the one below. Okay, now you can see that the collection name is the, still the old one, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the only change is on line five, ID card verification. So I think it's more like a title, okay? So, but the, but the real thing has not changed at all. So the idea is that we, um, we will rename this back to the original name and then we create a new collection type. And then you can see the attributes below, okay? On line 11, two below, it's, it's like the, the data that you need, right? The specification is there. So we will copy that to the new collection type. Let's see if that works, okay? Okay. But yeah, maybe the, the old data will be gone, but I don't think that's important at this stage, right? It's just testing. <laughs> okay. Let's go to Strapi and rename the old, uh, the old one. Um, okay. Okay, again. Right, go to collection type. Yes. Okay. Create new one. Uh, rename this one first because then we will need to use that name. Rename this to, yeah, yeah ID card repository. ID card repository, I guess, yeah. ID card repository. So back to the old name and then we create a new one with a new name. Okay, now you create a new collection type using the new name. Okay. Okay, you can put something here, just uh, like name, yeah, kind is also okay, but yeah, just just save it, and uh, uh, I'll edit yeah. later. Okay, and then you save this one. <laughs> okay, now you open the project in Visual Studio Code. I think you can stop Strapi now. And we will start that again after you have changed the, yeah, the file, yeah, the model file. Okay, now you have here ID card verification, okay, models. And that one is still empty, right? So you go to the old repository and copy Hold the on. attributes one, yeah, because it has the complete attribute, right? Okay, just this copy one. the yeah attributes. Let's see if this works.
Okay, try to add something there. Oh, yeah. Tada. <laughs> you have it. Okay, so yes. try to try to add some data just for testing. Do you get all the UI and so on? Uh, but wait, is it? Oh no, it's not required field. Okay. Mm. Can I add using UI? Yeah, sure. Or should I use GraphQL? No, 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 just, just, for, just for that thing. Just so that you can check the one in the Notion. Okay, just for testing. You don't have to fill everything, just uh, test that this was working. Yes, it is. Okay, that's nice. Good, that's good. So you can check that out. And so we can move on to the to the uh, end design app. Okay. Make sure to actually you, now you can like delete the old one. Okay. Delete the old one. I think there is like a way to yeah, I think that one, that one is correct. Yeah, there is a delete button there because you no longer need this one. Uh, hmm? Okay. Okay. And I think a, a, a good way is uh, to check with GraphQL, yeah? Um, you don't have to run it. Just check if the GraphQL from the autocomplete is using the new uh, the new names. Yeah, uh, please check the GraphQL. Okay, I think that's good. Yes. Right, good job. Oh, yeah, no problem. Okay, let's move on. Okay, I know it's uh, it's done. Yeah. Okay, so uh, please uh, commit and push the Stripey project so that I can uh, synchronize with uh, one in my computer. So. Record verification. Okay, it's it no longer has mm. this one mm. because it is deleted. Okay. 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 Well, now you you cannot just do that. You need to have check with Git status. If you only do that, then some some will be not there. Let's see. Oh, it's already okay. master. Because um, sometimes when you just do that, uh, some files will not be uh, included because you will need like uh, dash a. Okay. No, no. Uh, during commit, during commit, or uh, yeah, commit. Okay. Yeah, but that, that's good. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Minus, sir. Yeah. This, to exit from this. Control X. There is a uh, one below, right? Thank you, sir. Okay. You can actually do like dash A uh, and then dash M. Dash A means that uh, all of the files. Uh, pardon me? Yeah, dash A means that all of the files that were changed will be included. Okay. But uh, it's it's okay. No, just just use uh, dash m. Don't forget the conventional commit. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, now this one, the conventional commit tag is refactor. Refactor. Yep. Okay. That's good. Deleted old collection type. Mm -hmm.
Okay, now if you want to use this as internship, I would say rather than use the meetings, use the commit log as your like journal. Okay, that's also commit log. Yeah, because there in Git there will be commits, commit logs, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see, I see. For the report, yeah. So you can have like yeah, the meetings for the report. You can have like the blog post and video for the report, and also the commits for the report. Because then you can like report uh, on this day you did this, and this day you did this, and so on. Okay, I will check the yeah the commit logs later. So okay, hopefully I can use now, it. Let's go to the the app again. Yeah, I think you can check the notion on that because then it's done. Nice. Oh notion here. It's done. Okay. Right, so now back to the end design app. How does it look now? Is it working? <laughs> okay. Oh. It's showing here. Oh, I think you put some CSS, right? Because it's right <laughs> like that. Yeah. Can you please uh, like delete or comment all the CSS there? app.css here uh, also on the uh, actually the the if you are using andesign the way to do it is just to use um, um style components yeah i think i prefer style components oh this inside this one one Okay. Uh, and then okay. Okay, so I think this should be good. What is what is wrong? Close account. I think this should be good actually. But if it's done, still not working, then maybe we can use uh, end design for the root layout. Okay, I think that's, that's somewhat better. Okay. Is the CSS working? Can you try inspect? Okay, uh, go to um, that's weird, yeah. Why well, it's like that? The styling is different. Okay, can you uh, just do a commit boosted project or maybe? Okay, uh, let me let me have a remote control again. Let me check okay, out sorry. what what's wrong with here. This should be the same thing. Oh yeah, it's not yet imported to app. Okay, go to app dot tsx. Okay, now add this to that. Right. Okay. 
Okay, that, that was what's missing. Because the one in the CSS is for and design, not and design mobile. But it's okay. Now this should work. Okay, try this one. Well, yeah, much nicer. There's still home there. Uh, can you delete the home thing? Okay. I think some of the... It's making it wrong. Uh, how about the app, FTSX? Uh, how does it look like, FTSX? Uh, okay. So it will call... Like that. Okay, and then routes. Okay, I would call. say, yeah, about as I think it's okay. Um, for, for FTSX, uh, how about the FTSX? Do you, do you put any class in there? Okay, do you put any CSS on the app? CSS, the CSS. okay, can you uh, on the class name? Is there any dot app something there? Because if there is, nope. uh, please, oh, nothing. Okay, that's a nice thing. All right, so let's go back to that. Uh, let's see how it looks like now. Is it working well now? Okay, so how, how does it look now? And then there is index here. Why so many things in index? Can you like comment of everything on there? You, you don't, basically you don't really need a lot. Uh, I think for Lovia branding, it should be this, the, the CSS here. Okay, use that one for index. Mm -hmm. the, the one in chat, this one. that's for index. You, you can just remove everything else. Okay, now I'll try this one. Okay, uh, not 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 the first one. The the first line is from the previous one. Please delete it. Okay, so this should be good. Okay, try it now. You can also rectify, I guess. <laughs> If you want to gratify, you do like Control Shift P and then gratify or format. Oh, Control Shift P. Okay, format document. Format, format. Oh wow! <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. Looks Very nice. nice. Looks nice. Uh, now please add the button below that. Email password and the login button. And also I think you need to have a render header. Here. This email. Okay.
just use a simple one. Yeah. Of course, you can experiment uh, with everything else later. I think it's the primary one, yeah. the, the button type primary. primary. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's nice. I think now you can actually control space in there or quick fix. So you don't have to do it manually. Try to click, to click on it and then there's a hover, right? Yeah, auto import. Okay, well, that's good. That should be sign in. Yeah. The label of button would be sign in. Okay. Oh, I imported two. Nice. Yeah. Okay, rename from primary to sign in. Okay, great. Yeah. So it's pretty nice UI, right? And then uh, use the chat, change the, the one in list. Okay, so in the chat, change the one in list. In list. Mm. Okay, put a header there and so on. Okay, it's nice. Does it compile automatically? Yeah. Okay, that's good. And then please make another list for the password. So this is just one list, right? You need to have two lists, one for email and one for password. Okay, great. Because uh, it needs a header. So as you can see, we can have nice UI without a lot of CSS, right? <laughs> if you know how to use it, you don't have to know any CSS. Okay, let's see how it looks like now. Yeah, this is cool. And now what I want is that, um, put okay, the margin. I think. No, I, I think what should happen is that, uh, can you put a, a diff, Outside of that, okay. Outside of list, yeah. Outside of wind blank, can you put the diff as a parent? Okay, and then inside the diff, put the list. Okay, move the list inside the diff on without wing blank. Okay, so wing blank will only contain the button. Oh, I see. Yeah. So move the list out of the blank. Okay, let's see how it looks like now. So this uh, is, hmm? yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah, I think this is more like it. And we'll need a white space. So after the, or before the wing plane, please add a white space. White space size LG. 
outside of wing blank? Uh, before that, yeah, outside. Before the wing blank, put a white space. Yeah, that one. White space, and there's a attribute size. Oh, uh, is it single element? I mean, single element, single element. Put size, size, LG. Uh, no, it's a yeah, it's a text. Okay, don't have to put the curly braces actually, just direct text. Because it's okay. a static one. Okay. I think that's nice. Good. I think this, uh, I like this one. Simple oh. and it works. Uh, so white space is a brake line? Yeah, something like that. Mm. Cool. Actually, you can like put margin or a thing, but this works for me. Okay, so that's for the uh, UI. Uh, please commit push this first. Now, after okay. this, uh, let's uh, set up GraphQL. Oh, where? Hmm? What? I can't. Oh no, I can't move something. Mm -hmm. So uh, I will just add. Yeah, another terminal. Or, or actually, uh, you, you can go to first one if you want to like have two terminals as one. Switch, switch, switch. Uh, switch. Yeah, you okay. Can. Okay, and then click the icon that's like slide uh, split if you want to split here. Oh, so you can have two terminals side by side. Oh, this is really cool. I didn't know which one. Okay. okay. So, yeah. as you can see, Visual Studio Code is really powerful. <laughs> there, are, there are hidden features, yeah? It's actually not hidden, it's, it's right there. But people rarely use that. Mm. Uh, yeah. Login page. But, but if you use uh, YouTube, you know, uh, if you search on YouTube about Visual Studio Code tips and tricks and something, you know, you'll mm -hmm. see a lot of people like using strains or weird features in Visual Studio Code. <laughs> okay. We are really pro maybe. Oh, is it build or? Uh, I would say this this would be refactor. Oh, sorry, sir, what is refactor? Refactor is a, uh, it's basically changing something that affects the functionality or restructuring something. Oh. And build build is more about like, uh, the 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 configuration of the project. Um, if I if I so for, for example create a new page, is it so it is a refactor? Uh, yeah. So if you if you if you don't know, if you if you are not sure, the default will be refactor. Okay. Thank you, sir. Pip add push commit. Actually, you can just use git push. Uh, because I'm in master uh, re repository. Yeah, because it's already default, right? When, when you do git push, mean you, mean you means it sets the upstream. So the next one after that, uh, just git push is, uh, is sufficient. Okay. So now this is done. Okay, any question before we move to GraphQL? Uh, maybe this one, sir. Mm -hmm. What is that? I have no idea of that. There is a it's documentation bang, 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 uh, bang, bang. And, and mobile design. So you see the documentation there. Okay, on the, on the left part, you have components, right? So on the left one, you can see the left one. Okay, well, you can one. search, but uh, it's yeah, it's easier to see that because you see wing blank is under what in the in the left uh, side bar under flag layout. No, yeah, under layout. So flex wing blank and white space is all about layout. It doesn't have any functionality. It's just to uh, yeah to layout. Layouting. Yeah, 
and there is a okay. demo there. So there is a wing blank, the, the big wing blank, the, the demo on the right, get a screenshot. Mm -hmm. So you have a wing blank with large size. I don't know, it's like, is it large or medium? Okay, yeah, I think large and then medium and then small. So oh. it's just a way of putting margins on the left and the side and the right. <laughs> Okay, sir. Uh, thank you. Okay. 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 So now, let's. Any more question for GraphQL? Um. For React, nothing. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm curious how to set up a GraphQL. Okay, so let's open the Apollo Client Three. Uh, documentation. This one. Okay, get started. What? No. <laughs> That's weird. Is it here? Okay. Um, Apollo client. Yeah, that one. Okay, now change the version. Change the version to three. Yeah. 3 is 3 and beta. Okay, now get started. Uh, I, I added the Apollo's at Apollo slash client, but uh, yeah, still you will add, need, didn't add. Yeah, you will need to add that. Okay, so please do now. Okay, so this is not my first time with Apollo Client, but this is my first time with Apollo Client 3. So let's see if we can get it done in, yeah, hopefully the next 20 minutes, yeah. <laughs> not longer than that, but let's see if this works. But if not, then yeah, we will continue tomorrow. So do I have to add this? Yep, copy that one. Index.js. Yeah. I think this uh, this won't be index.js. Uh, okay. Okay. Like this. Okay, uh, this won't be in index.js, but this will be in app, app.tsx. This will be in app.tsx. App.tsx. Okay. okay, so put the code there. All right. Okay, and for URI, URI, use your own. Although I think they are also giving a working URL. Is it the strappy one? Yeah. Or? Yeah, it should be uh, the strappy with GraphQL. Yeah. Strappy with GraphQL. Let's see if we can get it. But actually, the URI, uh, URI from <coughs> Apollo. I'm sorry. Okay, the URI from Apollo is uh, is working. Okay, and now go to the one below. Uh, uh, 
uh, go to back to documentation. Oh, I got. Okay, what did I, I modify? I think you deleted something before. Okay. What what is service worker? I what don't even know. Okay, I think. Okay. Okay, let's let's try that again. Oh, because this is from index. Okay, you shouldn't do anything with the index one. Just return it back to the usual. You edit on FTSX. Okay, that's nice. Oh, okay, so there shouldn't be any service worker in here. Oh, I imported something that. Yeah, should not be there. Okay. Be here. Okay. Now go back to the Apollo client documentation. There is uh, another one for React below. For React? Yeah, scroll down. Okay, scroll down again. Yeah, that's how you do a query, but scroll down again. Okay, now this one. Copy that one to app.jsx. Actually, not everything, just, uh, yeah, just line four, and then for the rest, just put the, you know, line seven. It's, it says just wrapping, wrapping your app. With the provider. Okay. Okay, that's nice. And then you put the wrapper. Yep. Outside of your app. You don't have to do everything. It's just it's just a wrapper, right? Oh. Oh, I I I knew. Apollo provider. This one. Okay. Okay, after you put uh, it, so let's see. Should I use as parent or? Yeah, you should put that as parent. Okay, now test the app. Uh, hopefully there is no error yet. And then we can move on. Yes, it's working. Okay. Now on to the next code, just copy the next code in the documentation. And then you will change the Yeah, and yeah, the cut below. I think you can change the language, yeah, to use uh, TS. Can you change the setting, yeah, on the source code, on the left of copy? Oh, no. Okay, just use uh, hooks JS then. Okay, copy that one to your page. You need to integrate. Um, to to app dot js to no to home this one to home. Actually, this should be another page, but uh, you you can like refactor the app later. Just make this okay. work for the first time, and uh, then the query. But you will change the query to something that can be done uh, public, yeah. Dynamic or public mm -hmm. access. Change it and then use the uh, change the query to your own query. Uh, not 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 create. Just use a, a simple query like a ID card verification something. And for in this case, please put the name on the line six, the name of the query. For example, oh. you can uh, like query list ID card verifications, something like that. So it's a best practice uh, in this case to have a name of the query. Okay. 
Yeah. Like this. We need to have an S there because uh, it it's returning a collection, right? Okay, that's mm -hmm. nice. So we have that, and then yeah, and then the rest of the code. Yeah, probably we need to change the variable name too, right? Can I add new function? Um, I mean, yeah, you can add a new function. You can add a new function. So, and then you call it from home. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. But please change the name, yeah, of the query mm -hmm. and also the function name because it's not exchange rate. It should be like ID card verification list or something like that. Uh, I think for the query name, just use the all caps, just like in Apollo client example of the, the, the const on line five. Oh, no, not that one. The, the line oh, on line one. five. Yeah, this one. The const variable name is all caps. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Okay, and then change the name of the function. What? Okay. So, no, no, not not that one. Uh, use use like a the normal function naming. You can oh. use like. Oh, it is. Yeah. But in this case, the naming actually should be like ID card verification list. So the list one is on the end because it's a, it's a component name. Maybe verification list. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, now you will change the return. Okay, so instead of mapping, this shouldn't be data.rates, this should be data.id card verifications, I guess based on the structure of the data. ID card. Well, it's the same structure that in the playground. If you are not sure, just open the playground to, to get the name. Make sure it, that you can run the, the query that you put above. I will run the terminal, I think. Okay. What? Now let's test your query before. This time you can copy paste. So it will be like the exact query that will be run by the React application. No, ID card. Okay. I think uh, we cannot find Oh, mm. uh, no, because of this, sir? No, I would say it's because of a typo. Try to open the playground again and use the autocomplete or documentation to check if. Oh, it is, yes. Can I put? No, an I think it's, it's it's not that it's not that one. It's not that one. Uh, bring, bring it back. Bring it back. The, the the problem is not on that one. Yeah, that's the problem. 
So the, the first one is, has no error. Okay. Okay, that's good. So uh, please change this to public now. So public can find, at least for now, yeah. We can, we can handle okay. uh, authorization later. Just get this GraphQL working on your app. Okay, and now data dot data dot what we can Here. check from. Yeah, I think I think that is. Okay, and map. So that will be yep. That's correct. Okay. I would say you should put ID in there. The key should be the ID. Key should be ID. So you should ask for the ID on the query as well. If you don't ever ID, you don't get ID, right? So you need to put the ID on the query as well. What is this? Uh, uh, put it first on the query for ID. On the okay. query uh, on top, on top. Nah, that oh. one. Okay, so put ID, kind, and then name. Okay, so this is some type scripting. So please add this one. Pending an element. Uh, kind string and then name string. Okay, so please add that in the chat to your code. Oh, this should be interface, okay. So, no, 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 no. Please change this to this one here. Yeah. ID card verification. Okay, let me give you to the chat. Okay, please put that to your uh, source code. Actually, there's, there is a much easier way to solve that problem, but that will not be a good way. So this is the best, best practices way. Uh, on the GraphQL or? Uh, some, somewhere empty, yeah. You can put it on, yeah, but, but above, yeah, because you will oh. be using it. Okay, yep, you can put it there. And remove the first one because it's, uh, you should copy from interface. Remove line 15. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so go to, all right, that one. On line 27, you put ID card verification. Okay, you put that. Uh, not that, okay. After the uh, query braces, after the query braces, after the ending query braces, yeah. you put that, okay. Put this. Mm, I see. Okay, that's not working, I guess. Um, yep, ID kind name. Okay, I would say this should be. Okay, I think this will be like this. 
Oops. Wait, wait, let me revise. ID card verifications. Oh, do I need an S here on interface? Uh, yeah, actually, no. like this. Um, S ID card verification. Yeah. Okay, try this one. Put that uh, before line twenty-seven in the chat. Put that before line twenty-seven. Okay. Oh, okay. That's wrong. It should be. Uh, is, it is yeah. like this. No, this this should be a list. Okay, should be like this. You need to put a array. On the end. ID card verification. On line 27, you put the array, the array symbol. Like this. Yep. And on line 28, remove the data. Because we are using our own variable now. Okay. Great. Now put on 31, uh, put the ID kind name and so on. Okay, and put the name also. this so now try it let's see if this works him oh you need to to call that <laughs> you need to call the list from home otherwise it will not do anything call list from home the oh this function, one yeah it's a component right so put that component inside the home somewhere can put it yeah uh, do I have to export no just use the regular thing because it's in the same it's in the same file use the like uh, angle brackets just like you use a component yeah okay let's try this Not working. Cannot be used. Cannot be okay. used. Try to go uh, to the function. Maybe something is wrong. Uh, let let me to sub function again. Okay. Um. Why is not working? Function method. Do I have to export this? Maybe it try try same page. Try try to adding export there on twenty one. Try to prepend on twenty one. Line twenty one. Export function. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that helps. Mm. Okay. Oh no no not default not default because you already have a default. Okay, try to get there. Is it still error? Yes, it is. Okay, what's the error? Uh, 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 go back there, I, I want to read the error message. Okay, can be used. The return type. Oh, 
maybe this one. Hmm. Element is missing the following properties. Oh, okay, I think it is because that it is returning an array instead of just one component. Okay, so okay, so the way we do this is uh, on line um, okay uh, above line twenty eight. Do this. Okay. Okay. Above that one, put that. Because it's actually like an array of components. Okay. And then, yeah, on the middle of that, you know, the dot, dot, dot. Copy uh -huh. the line from line twenty nine to yeah to the ending without the return, but without the return. Oh, oh, this yep. one. Yep, you put it inside the div. Okay, you can have enter there, so it will be nicer. Okay, now you replace uh, you wrap it with curly braces. Put uh, right. curly braces, yeah. Put curly braces after the diff, after the outer diff, yeah, or before line twenty nine, yeah. You put curly braces uh, on the first dot, yep, that one, and then before the ending diff. Okay, it's nice. And remove the semicolon on line thirty five. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, you can you can format it later if you want. Error. Error. Okay. Wow. So now go to inspect. Go to inspect. Now I think you will see uh, on console or network if there is something. Oh, I see. Course request did not succeed. Okay. So actually, that's a good news. Uh, let's see how to enable course. All right. That's actually good news. Okay, this is nice. Okay, so actually there is a configuration. Yep. Uh, this is the needed configuration. I will send you the link. I think I will put it on Notion. So oh, sure. that uh, course configuration. Okay. Okay, the needed one is course dot origin. Okay. Needed one will be course dot origin. Here, security. Yep, and there is uh, one called course and then origin. So please go to, uh, can you read it? Yeah, that one, the course, Some, something below that. Have you found it? Have you found it, the course on the documentation? Here, course. Uh... Yep. I uh, don't need to click it. Okay, course and then origin, right? Mm -hmm. And course and then origin. So the value here will be this would be HTTP localhost, HTTP localhost. The config. Yeah. I cannot find any the config. Okay. Uh, 
So, nah, there is a path, right? Config, mm -hmm. environments, and then security.json. So the file name should be security.json. Oh, no. Hmm, no such file, yeah. I think if there's no such file, you need to create that file yourself. So go to config folder. Config folder. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you need to create a folder. Yeah, called environments. Let be. this is uh, I think it should be like the name of the uh, the environment okay okay I think the first one should be like development okay create a folder called environments and inside that create development development and then create that security.json file. It's a file, not a folder. Hey. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, you create a folder, you should just create the file. Can delete them, yeah. Delete. Okay, and put course origin to that using. Uh, I've put a notion on the configuration that you need to put. Okay, but use JSON syntax, yeah. Oh, okay. So you put course and then you put origin and then put it. like this mm, don't forget the quotes okay but course first course and then an object and then inside that origin course okay oh I uh, don't need like uh, an object. Origin is uh, directly the, the value. You don't need, uh, you don't need that, just colon and then the string value. Mm. Yep. And there is quotes. Where should I put the quotes? Yeah, after origin. Yep, that's true. Need the column there. Like nice. this. JSON, okay. And also on line two. Oh. No, you don't need to do that. To do that. Don't, don't, don't use it. No array. It's not an array. It's just a string. On line two. Line two. 
Ninety. Yep, you need a colon there, right? Here. Colon, colon, colon is titik dua. Mm, before that, oh. Jason. Okay, that's good. Okay, now try to restart therapy and let's see if this works. Oh, I think it's already restarting, yeah, in the terminal. So all you can do is just to refresh. Still error. Can you see the um, uh, inspect again? Why the inspect is gone? Is it still, still same error? Okay, course request does not succeed. That's weird. Hmm. Strange. See local host. Uh, can you open the 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 Strapi terminal again? This one. Okay. Okay. Wait. Uh, scroll up a little bit, but not too much. Okay. A little bit up again. Well, that is okay. File chains, config environments, development, security, JSON. Hmm. I'm not sure this should work. I wonder why it's not working yet. Okay, try to close this and then uh, try to specifically set the environment. Okay. Open the terminal and put the one on the chat and then run a strapy again. Let's see if that works. And then uh, where should I put this, sir? On the terminal before running strapy. Here. Yep. Where, where? Yeah, that's that's true. There. Yeah, that's true. Here. There. Yep. And then run strapi. Still error, yeah. Hmm. Okay, can you uh, open the inspect again on the network to see? Uh, yeah. Okay, click on network. Um, okay. Mm, try to refresh. So it will. See that? Okay. Now check the. Okay. So it gets wrong with the options. And click on that. The options one. Okay. Wait. It's HTTPS. Ah. Oh. Shouldn't be HTTPS. Where no. did I put it? She here. Okay. Oh no. I'll try again. Woohoo! There it is. Okay. Good job, man. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I'm sorry, just one letter. <laughs> yeah.
Okay. We, we, we could have saved more than 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I always tell you. Uh, when there's a bug, usually 80-90% of the time is finding the bug. When you know what's the cause, it's maybe like 10% is for actually fixing it. Usually it's like that. Okay, so just one thing, uh, you, you know how to use console.log, right? So go to the home again. Mm -hmm. Okay, now put something on, okay, go to line 26. Okay, go to line 26 and put console. Okay, console.log, maybe uh, like GraphQL query loading error data. Yeah, something like that. So loading the uh, data. I put, I put the yeah. chat. I put on chat. Hello? I put on chat. You can see on chat. Oh, this one. Thank you, sir. Okay. So it's not required, but just so you know that you can do that. So let's see how it works. Okay, now inspect, see the console. Okay, so now you have that, right? So that's mm. the loading something and then the structure of data that you get. So this is just query. You will need some uh, mutation. Uh, you also need to how to read the form, but okay, at least it is done. Uh, GraphQL is working on your app. Uh, you will need to do something else if you want authentication.